the earth is our mother. We must take care of her. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. Hey, I'm All in high or humble station, round the firelight gather near. We, the elders of the nation, call the tribe our tale to hear of a wise and ancient story, of the times before the present, of the lands so full of glory, where the buffalo does wander, in shining sun or healing rains, far beyond the stretching desert, Far beyond the grassy plains, gather round us, brothers, sisters, gather round us, young and old, gather round us, moon and starlight, gather round us, winds so bold, gather round us, little beings, friends of woodland and of air. Listen now, dear birds and owlets, hare and possum, mouse and bear. Four directions bless these stories, north and south and east and west. Ya, he, ya, ho. All leaned in to hear the wisdom on this cool and starry night. Those who dreamed of being warriors, those who dreamed of beauty bright. Little birds and tiny fireflies, rabbit skunk heard in the night. Little mouse, with eyes all sparkling, strained to hear the tales aright. That same night, she dreamed of beauty, of the mountains far away, stretching past her own sweet homeland, to the place where hope held sway. If there's hope of ever someday, seeing lands so fair and bright, I must leave the places I know, and be braved and filled with might. Ya he, ya ho, ya he, ya ho, ya he, ya ho. Little mouse, she heard a roaring in the distance, far away. When she asked her friends and family, they all laughed, shooed her away. The raccoon had overheard them, and she followed Little Mouse, who began to travel swiftly onward from her little house. Little Mouse, your ears hear right. You hear a river full of might. What's a river? Please do tell. Follow me and know you shall. Sister Raccoon led her quickly to the forest and deep wood. Little Mouse plucked up her courage, started traveling towards her dream. Raccoon took her to the river. It was like nothing she'd ever seen. How can I cross this rushing river to the great plain beyond? If I try, I will be swallowed by the current and be gone. Let me introduce you to my friend so wise and dear. He lives on land and in water. He can help you. Have no fear. Who is this who says he can't cross? Who is this who cries in fright? It's my friend Mouse who's calling. She is small and in need. I hoped that I could reach the mountains, but I see now hope did mislead. Little mouse, you are wrong. Hope's not misleading. 
Hope keeps hearts alive and strong. It is what has brought you this far. It's what you have been all along. I have a magic deep within me. I shall name you with a new name. One to help you travel onward. One to help you hope never wane. Jumping mouse, I do call you. Watch how far and fast it takes you. Oh, oh, my limbs! They fill with power. My journey will begin this hour. Swim across the river now. Start your journey, jumping mouse. I am ready to begin now. What is swim? Please show me how. <laughs> swim is this underwater. Hurry now and come across. Oh, though my legs are strong, I cannot do that. Trust me, bullfrog, I'll be lost. Well, mice are mice and bullfrogs, bullfrogs. Hop on my back and hurry, quick. Safe to the far shore, I will take you. Safe and dry and lickety split. Both cross the river. Always keep hope bright within you. Jumping mouse and you will know strength in your heart. Faith in your plans. Have courage and the truth will show. Over to the stretching prairie, Jumping Mouse was taken then. With her new legs and her new name, she bid farewell to her friend. Land of the Great River, home of the mountains, where still the buffalo wander. She traveled hot and thirsty till she found another mouse. Old and sturdy was the being, inviting her into his house. Stay with me in my safe dwelling, warm and happy, calm, content. <coughs> Here you will find there is no danger, no things that make young mice repent. <coughs> there is a snake across the river, but to us he cannot come. <coughs> we shall eat and drink and rest and enjoy ourselves and have some fun. Long ago, I yearned to find the lands you seek to find. Now I know it isn't worth it. <coughs> now I know I lost my mind. With you, old mouse, I'll rest and stay. And then I must be on my way. Good food and friendship and the warmness came jumping mouse from her quest. Weeks and weeks went slipping by until one day at the river, jumping mouse leaned down to drink. Her reflection made her shiver. Then she knew not what to think, for the pe picture that she saw there reminded her of the old mouse, plump and lazy. What a scare! What has become of my journey? I must leave here right away. I must tell my friend I am going or forever I will stay. Quickly Jumping Mouse ran back to bid old mouse a warm farewell. Off she ran to see the mountains what lay before her she could not tell. Oh great spirit, earth, wind, fire and sea. Jumping 
mouse was traveling towards the great mountains, reaching high, when she came upon a black stone, large and looming, tall and dry. She thought that she could use its shelter for a rest throughout the night. But when she heard the rock was sobbing, she startled up in fright. Why? Large and stone-like creature? Are you resting here and crying? I am Jumping Mouse. I'll comfort you and your tears I'll begin drying. I am a bison, little mouseling. Poison water I have sipped. And now blindness is my state. Life from me will soon be stripped. <laughs> oh, good bison, I can help you. Let faith and hope come to the rescue. How can a tiny creature help a bison with no sight? Go away, my little friend. <laughs> Let me die here in the night. I will try the bullfrog's magic. I now call you Eyes of the Mouse. <laughs> my eyes, they sparkle and tingle. Jumping mouse, it worked. I, I see. I can live now. I am well now because you assisted me. Good for you, my bison friend. That magic helped you in the end. But now, my eyes no longer see. This ends my journey to be free. Climb on my back, jumping mouse, and quickly come with me. I can live now, and I'm well now, because you have cared for me. So the friends walked on together till the mountains loomed before them. Little friend, I'm a walker on the grass and plain so wide. You must climb these hills alone. Up these mountains I cannot stride. Oh, great spirit, earth, wind, fire, and sea. climbed upward, stumbling high as best she could, stopping at a warm and soft place, thinking she had reached a wood. After resting peacefully, she jumped up when the soft place heaved. On the back of a wolf she lay. In her blindness, she was deceived. But the wolf heaved hard in sorrow, silent tears, she shed a grief. Oh, great wolf, although I tremble to address you in my smallness, I must ask, why do you weep so? You, so cunning in the allness? Little mouse, my scent is ruined. Frightened and sad am I. For I misuse my sense of smell. Now without it, I must die. When the earth gives out her gift and we defy her, we must pay. Now I stay here out of trouble, while for quick death I do pray. Mighty wolf, do not give up hope so roundly. Hope must never fade. I will see if my strength will amend this death you've paid. Do not protest. I now name you Nose of the Mouse. Ah, the scent of aromas of the world. You gave them back. Little mouse, you have strong magic. My life force is dreaming back. Good for you, wolf of the great world. I am glad that you have scent. But when magic gave you your scent back, 
my own sense of smell just went. I wonder how my journey will end. Will I find beauty far away? In the far lands over mountains? When it's here, I must now stay. Little mouse, you saved my life. That you must surely know. To the healing crystal lake, you must now go. Climb upon my back, dear friend, and hold on tight. We shall go there now together. I will run with all my might. Over all the highest mountains, Wolf went leaping, running fast. In a short time, she arrived at a top the highest hills at last to the land of distant beauty to the lovely lands afar wolf played jumping mouse in soft grass underneath a gleaming star on the grass she wondered greatly at her journey's end at dawn she heard a surprising voice of an old friend jumping mouse your quest has ended. Hope has led you to this place. Bullfrog, is that really you? I wish I could see your face. You shall see more than my face. You shall see the whole world around. Because of your generous heart, you now have a new life found. Jump up high, brave little mouse, and see what happens then. Jumping mouse jumped high and felt her senses glow. Bullfrog, I can see again. I can smell the world below. <laughs> Jump again, my dear brave mouse. And jumping mouse, you will be no more. Perseverance has transformed you. Generosity made you more. My name for you is Eagle. And high above us, you shall soar. With this name, the mouse felt tingles through her being, down her spine. She was lifted up and upwards, saw bright colors, smelled sweet pine, tumbled through the air and upwards, toward the sun and towards the sky. Rushing air whirled past her arms as she reached the clouds so high, till at last, her eyes were opened, and she saw her arms were wings. For she knew now that great courage can indeed change everything. Now you shall wander, now you shall wander, your hope held high.